Hello, today we are unboxing the incredible Tough Gaming B550M Plus Wi-Fi motherboard. It's a very snazzy motherboard with a lot of cool features. I can't wait to see what's inside. So here we have the antenna for the Wi-Fi. If you have a Wi-Fi 6 router, you get some really fast data transfer speeds. Underneath here we have the actual motherboard, and this thing looks sharp, even in the bag. The logos really pop, like this one right here in the corner. Now that the board is out, we can see what's hidden away in the box. We have a really cool Tough Gaming IO shield, complete with Tough Gaming logos and decals. We have the Certificate of Reliability. This is your motherboard's report card of all the reliability and durability tests that were taken. As you can see here, our motherboard has passed everything with flying colors. I've heard legends of objects like these. If I recall, they originate from Atlantis, from before the fall. If I were to guess, this object may have all the motherboard drivers you need. The manual here has all the information you'll need to properly set up your motherboard. For first time builders, this is really helpful. It can be quite overwhelming with so many wires connecting to so many places. It's dangerous to go alone, so take this. Ah, no way, we got a sticker sheet. Ah man, these are cool. They all have a really, really nice shine to them. I can't wait to put them on my PC case, but before we go any further, I'm gonna put one on my glove. How about uh, this one? Yeah, tough. All right, now that we have the motherboard out of the protective sleeve, we can take a look at all the cool features on the board. Here we have an impressive heatsink. This thing has a really nice sturdy build to it. You can tell it's really built with that tough philosophy behind it. Here we have the A plus two DRMOS PowerStage VRM. Down here is our M.2 slot with a flexible heatsink. This has a really nice build to it as well, just like the heatsinks around the VRM. Here we have our two PCIe slots. On top of that, the PCIe 4.0 slot has ASUS safe slot metal reinforcements to prevent any GPU sag. Next to the chipset is our RGB lighting zone. Well, that about covers it. I'm gonna peel off some of these protective stickers. Thanks for watching and be sure to like and subscribe for more ASUS content. Let us know in the comments below what kind of PC you'll build with your Tough Gaming B550M Plus Wi-Fi motherboard. What's up guys, welcome to another video. Today I have something very exciting to show you guys. This is the brand new X570 Aorus Master. This is the latest motherboard that we have in 2019. In today's video, I'm gonna take this out of the box and show you guys exactly what this motherboard is all about. So let's start this off by taking the motherboard out of the box. And just to catch you guys up to speed, this is the brand new X570 motherboards that are designed for the new Ryzen 3000 series processors. This one in specific is the X570 Aorus Master. This is our more higher end X570 board. This is probably gonna be one of the best selling boards out there on the market because we have so much features, design, and performance put into this package that I think it's a great overall package. But before we talk more about the motherboard, I'm gonna set this aside over here and talk about what else comes inside the box. So let's put this off over to the side and try to dig in over here. And what do we get? We get our usual paperwork and instruction manuals. Let's see what else we're gonna get in here. Extra cables, good for us. It's always nice to have. Um, also, you're gonna get a Wi-Fi antenna. I'm gonna talk more about this board once we get into the deep dive of that. Wi-Fi is actually really exciting to talk about for this generation. Additional SATA cables, you can expect that. And also something that I wanna point out is we include this nice Gigabyte G connector. So what G connector is, is that, uh, you know when you install your motherboard to your PC and then you're trying to connect all your front cable connectors, you connect them to the G connector and this just neatly plugs into your motherboard, so it makes it a lot easier for you. Velcro cable ties, extra standoff screws, all that kind of stuff, extra additional cables, RGB cables, and most importantly, you're gonna get additional Aura stickers, a whole bunch of them as well. So 
All these accessories, I'm going to toss them back in the box and put them aside. We're going to talk about what you guys came here for, which is the master motherboard. Okay, so let's move over to the star of the show, the X570 Aorus Master. And there's a ton of things to talk about on this board. Um, I guess let's talk about design. You guys can clearly see for X570, we've completely redesigned our board. So we took away the orange. We heard you guys, you guys don't like orange. So we went with a very flat black, silver and gray color scheme. In my opinion, this thing looks really nice, really modern and it looks good for 2019. So the reason why we went with this new color scheme is because it's a lot more color neutral. So regardless of whether you're making a white, a black, a red, or whatever color you're trying to go for, this motherboard will fit in perfectly inside your PC. Also, when it comes to design, you can notice back here, we have an integrated IO port. I'm gonna talk more about the IO in just a bit. Okay, so moving over to the back, you can see we have a full Aorus backplate. This is to add extra rigidity and protection to your motherboard because for Aorus, we believe if you're spending this amount of money on the motherboard, you deserve the best quality that Aorus can provide. Let's move over back up front and talk about some of the features that you get on this motherboard. First one I want to point out is the VRM design on this. We have a direct 14 phase VRM on this motherboard. This is really high end stuff. So for those of you who are considering to pick up this motherboard, just know that you'll be taken care of when it comes to the power delivery and overclocking department with your motherboard. Also related to that, you're gonna see the return of the Aorus Thin Array Heatsink. This thing first made its appearance with the Aorus X470 series, but for X570, we took that design and we've upgraded it. You're gonna see a better heat pipe design, as well as you're gonna see bigger thermal pads on the motherboard. So that's gonna deliver a better all overall cooling solution for the X570 Aorus Master. Okay, so the next big feature that I wanna talk about is a really exciting one, PCI Express 4.0. So in the future, you're gonna see more PCIe 4 SSDs, PCIe 4 graphics cards, and this board right here, the X570 Aorus Master, is designed to handle all those faster speeds that are gonna be coming out very soon. Okay, so the next big leap in features is gonna be the inclusion of Wi-Fi 6. So the Aorus X570 Aorus Master adopts the new 802.11ax standard. So if you pair this motherboard with the AX compatible router, you're gonna get much faster transfer speeds than you were previously. Also related to connectivity, you're gonna see back here, you're gonna see inclusion of dual LAN. So you have your standard uh, gigabit ethernet LAN, but you're gonna see Realtek 2.5 gigabit ethernet LAN on here. So that's just gonna be nice when you're compared with that Wi-Fi technology, you're gonna be covered when it comes to connectivity. Also a new thing that I wanna point out is the inclusion of an upgraded ESS Sabre DAC. So this one specifically is the ESS Sabre 9118. So pretty much with this board, you're gonna get a overall better sound experience compared to previous generations. So if you are big into music, if you're big into watching movies or playing games, just know that the Aorus X570 Aorus Master has you taken care of in that department. Okay guys, so this product right here is one of many products that we're launching. This paired with the brand new Aorus NVMe Gen 4 SSDs and the new Aorus monitor and the graphics cards. That's gonna make a great combo. So if you guys wanna find out more about those hardware, follow Aorus on social media and YouTube. We're gonna have a lot more content to come out very soon. Also, if you guys are interested in picking up this specific board, we're gonna leave links below for places to purchase as well as places to get the best prices on here. So make sure to click those links. My name is Van from Aorus and we'll see you guys on the next video. Hey everyone, I'm Chris, and welcome back to Inside the Box, where I open up our latest products and show you what's inside. Today I'm going to be opening up the ROG Strix Z590-E Gaming Wi-Fi Motherboard. This AI-powered board is the perfect fit for your next Intel gaming PC, and I'm going to take you inside the box. The Strix Z590-E Gaming Wi-Fi is what we like to call an AI motherboard. This is because it utilizes AI to assist with overclocking, cooling, and networking to ensure the best possible system performance. Plus, our AI noise canceling technology takes care of distracting sounds and background noise. 
Whether you're looking to build a 10th gen Intel PC now, or are planning an 11th gen Intel build later in the year, the Strix Z590-E Gaming Wi-Fi is going to be a solid choice. Now let's open it up and see what's inside. The motherboard is the most obvious thing we expect to find in here, but let's move that out of the way for the moment. Alright, first off we've got a box here that's got a few very important goodies that we'll want to take a look at. First, this, we open it up. This is the GPU holder, which keeps even the heaviest cards standing straight inside your case. This is the 2x2 dual band Wi-Fi antenna. Now it features a magnetic base so it can attach securely to your case, and can be positioned at four different angles to get the best signal. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and pull out the motherboard itself. Remove it from its anti-static bag. And underneath here, we've got some drivers, as well as a thank you card, a great set of stickers, user guide, and then underneath, a few more goodies. Now this is the VRM fan. In the event that you want to upgrade your cooling even further, you can go ahead and attach this. And finally, we've got an assortment of other accessories that you're going to need over the course of your build. And finally, a great ROG keychain so that you can show your allegiance wherever you're at. On the back panel, you'll find a host of connectivity options, including dual Intel 2.5 gigabit LAN connections with ASUS LAN guard. If you can't get an Ethernet cable to your battle station, the Strix Z590-E Gaming Wi-Fi still has you covered with Wi-Fi 6E on board. The dual antenna controller supports 2.4, 5, and 6 GHz bands to ensure you get the fastest speeds possible in your environment. This full ATX motherboard has a mostly black design with the VRM heatsinks, triple M.2 heatsinks, and L-shaped heat pipe, bringing sharp angles and straight lines to the design. Both the chipset heatsink and I.O. panel cover feature AuraSync RGB lighting that can be synced with the rest of your battle station. You can control additional lighting with the included addressable RGB headers. There are two PCIe 4.0x16 slots and a single PCIe 3.0x16 slot for your GPU and add-on cards. For power delivery, the Strix Z590-E Gaming Wi-Fi uses 14 plus 2 teamed power stages that are rated for 70 amps and features ProCool 2 power connectors, high quality alloy chokes, and durable capacitors to unleash the full potential of your CPU. You can see the Supreme FX ALC4080, which along with the Savitech SV3H712 amplifier, provides crystal clear audio output. This is a very PC DIY friendly board, with headache saving features like the pre-mounted IO shield, clear CMOS button, and Q-code display that make installing and troubleshooting your PC a breeze. The board supports a total of four M.2 drives, including two PCIe 4.0x4 slots for ultra-fast NVMe drives. And you won't need to hunt for screws when installing a drive, as our handy M.2 Q latch has you covered. The ROG Strix Z590-E Gaming Wi-Fi is currently available in stores, so check below for links on where to buy it. And if you're still not sure which motherboard is right for your next 10th or 11th gen Intel build, then be sure to check out the ROG Maximus 13 Hero, Tough Gaming Z590 Plus Wi-Fi, and the ASUS Prime Z590-A. If you want the latest and greatest technology without having to sell a kidney, then the MSI MPG X570 Gaming Plus is the perfect motherboard for you. 
Get the best gaming performance with the all new PCI Express Gen 4 interface. Steel armor reinforcement makes sure your motherboard can handle the latest and greatest graphics cards with ease, even during transportation. The MPG X570 Gaming Plus boasts the iconic red and black gaming colors. The extended heatsink cooling and frother heatsink offer powerful cooling for a rock stable system. The patented propeller blade fan offers great performance at ultra low noise levels. Zero frother technology makes sure your fan will even stop spinning if the temperature allows it, to eliminate any possible noise. The motherboard is equipped with two M.2 slots for blazing fast storage performance. The primary slot even offers transfer speeds up to 64 gigabit per second by utilizing the PCI Express Gen 4 interface. In the box you can also find an M.2 shield frother for both cooling and protection. Because of its atypical PCB design, the MPG X570 Gaming Plus offers easy access to the SATA ports and front USB header. The motherboard also features USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type A and Type C with transfer speeds up to 10 gigabit per second. Audio Boost 4 technology gives you the competitive edge in your favorite games. Hear your enemies at pinpoint precision and dominate the game. If you want to learn more about the MSI MPG X570 Gaming Plus and all of its features, make sure to take a look at the product page. If you like the video, please click on the like button, write a comment and subscribe to my channel.